Hey everybody and welcome to my first ever 3ds Max tutorial on YouTube. Uh, if you know my channel, you know I've been doing tutorials for the last seven years, uh, but this is going to be the first 3D, uh, 3ds Max tutorial, right? So we're going to start pretty basic and I'm going to show you guys in this video how to add edge loops. Right, two ways I'm going to show you. Uh, let's start by creating a simple object. So we're going to go up to the plus sign on the right here. We're going to go to box. We're going to left click and drag and pull that up. And if your cube isn't looking like this, you can try to hit F2, F3, or F4, basically on your keyboard to clean that up. This is what we got. And before we move forward, what we need to do is we need to turn that box into an editable poly. So we're gonna right click on it, right click. We're gonna go to convert to, convert to editable poly, like so. And as you do that, you will see that you now have a menu on the right you can play with. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to select a number of edges, right? So I can go to edge mode here, second symbol. I can now go in, left click and drag, and for example, select these, or maybe just one, or maybe just these two, or whatever you like, right? You get the idea. So I'm just going to select these right here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the right, and there's going to be a button called Connect. Now you can click on Connect and you'll get an edge loop in the middle here, but I'm going to click on the little box next to it right and once you click on that one you've got three options to play with now the top one i'm going to left click and push up right like this you'll increase the number of edge loops or you can just do it by clicking one by one like so or you can go in and simply just type in a number let's say i don't know five. Second one same deal but you can slide it up and down to increase or decrease the distance between the lines or the edge loops and the third one is to basically shift the whole thing to the left or right. Now, once you're happy, you click on the little checker thing here and you got it. So that's one way, but we're gonna go back, uh, hit Control Z because I wanna show you another method. Now that method involves Swift Loop. I'm gonna right click on my cube. And if I go up into my uh, menu here, you'll see that I have Swift, uh, Swift Loop. Now you might not have that, so later on in this video, I will show you how you can add it there, right? But once you click on that, you can freeform go in, and as soon as you click, you'll see that you have edge loops added, right? Now this is most commonly used, and uh, I think it works quite well. I like the fact that it's in that menu because it makes it nice and quick and fast, right? Quick and fast, yeah, pretty much same thing. Alrighty, so um, we got that, and now I'll show you how to get it in there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to, uh, let's see, where's it at, where's it at, where's it at? Customize, top of your screen. Then you're gonna go to Customize User Interface, which will pop up this menu right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and look for Swift Loop in this list right here and add it to the right. So we're gonna go and find Swift Loop, me one sec yeah there you go swift loop now you can add it to the right by dragging it there but you have to check one of the quads here and make sure in that quad menu by the way uh, so we've got these four and i just clicked on the top left one right there and then i just took it and dragged it over there and dropped it now i already have it in here so i'm not going to do it again mine's right there once you have that done you're going to click on save and then you're going to save it out and in my case you already have it and you're all done right and then if you go in here and you right click, you will see it sitting right there. That's all to it, guys. So hopefully this short little tutorial was helpful for those of you new to 3ds Max. If you got any questions or requests, let me know in the comments. And that said, thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.